myself Arthur and today I will be discussing about two fundamental thermodynamic cycles the auto cycle and its applications in the Carnot cycle. This presentation will help you to understand how these cycles work and their significance in the real world applications. Joining me today are friends Nakul and Akash. To begin with these are thermodynamic cycles. Cycles are essential for understanding how the heat engine converts into how the heat engine converts heat into work. The auto cycle is primarily used in internal combustion engines, while the Carnot cycle serves as an idealized model of for maximum efficiency. Now I will handle it to over Akash to explain the auto cycle in the detail. Thank you, Sartre. What is auto cycle? The auto cycle is a thermodynamic cycle that describes how internal combustion engines commonly found in cars convert fuel into motion. Example Automobiles The best example of auto cycle is consists of four main processes. First stage is intake stop. In this first step, the engine draws in a mixture of air and gasoline through the intake valve. This mixture fills in the cylinder, preparing it for the next step. Second step is compression stop. Next, the piston moves upward, compressing this air fuel mixture. This is a smaller space. This compression raises both the temperature and pressure inside the cylinder, making it ready for ignition. Third step is power stop. At this point, a spark from the spark plug ignites the compression mixture, causing a small explosion. This explosion pushes the piston down with great force, which generates power to turn the vehicle's wheels. The fourth process is exhaust stroke. Finally, after the power stroke, the piston moves back up to the push out of the burn gases. Through the exhaust wall, this clears the cylinder from the next cycle to begin. The auto cycle repeats continuously as, as long as the engine is running, allowing vehicles to move efficiently. The efficiency of the auto cycle is, can be calculated using the formula. Eta is equal to 1 minus 1 upon R raised to gamma minus 1, where R is the compression ratio and gamma is the specific heat ratio. This cycle is crucial for understanding how gasoline engines function. Going next to Sartre to present Carnot cycle. Thank you Akash. Now let's discuss about the Carnot cycle. Basically, what is Carnot cycle? The Carnot cycle is an idealized thermodynamic cycle that serves as a sta standard for measuring the efficiency of heat engines. It is not specific to any particular engine type but provides a theoretical framework for understanding how heat can be converted into work most efficiently. As you can see in the figure, the Carnot cycle can consist of four reversible processes. First, isothermal expansion process 1 to 2. The, in this process, the gas absorbs heat from a hot reservoir while expanding up at constant temperature. Second process, adiabatic expansion process 2 to 3. Here, the gas continues, con continues to expand without heat exchange, leading to a drop in the temperature. Third process, isotherm isothermal compression process 3 to 4. In this phase, the gas releases heat to cold reservoir while being compressed at constant temperature. Fourth process, adiabatic compression, process 4 to 1. Finally, the gas is compressed adiabatically, raising its temperature back to its original state. Now, the, how, the, how to calculate the efficiency of Carnot engine? Uh, efficiency is equal to 1 minus Tc upon T, Th, where Tc and Th are the absolute temperature of Cold air, cold air reservoir and hot reservoir. This cycle illustrates efficiency achievable between two thermal reservoirs. Comparison of auto cycle and Carnot cycle. Now that we have covered both the cycle, Carnot cycle and auto cycle, let's compare them briefly in the form of tabular form. First, first auto cycle. Auto cycle is a real world application, and Carnot cycle is an ideal situation which means we 
we make more, more assumption in the Carnot cycle. Then, if, talking about the efficiency, efficiency formula is 1 minus 1 upon gamma raised to n minus 1. And for Carnot cycle, it is eta is equal to 1 minus Tc upon T. Practical application of auto cycle is it is an internal combustion engine, which means it is used in motorcycle, car, uh, bikes also, and then Carnot cycle. Application of the it is it is a theoretical. The, the, that means it has no application. Talking about the PV diagram of auto cycle, let's see from the above slide. Here is the, here is the PV diagram. From process zero to one. There is a pistons come from TDC to BDC, top dead center to bottom dead center. The fuel is sucked by the piston by doing doing the moment from TDC to BDC. So, uh, there are two walls, exhaust valve and in, in, inlet valve. The inlet valve sucks the fuel inside to the piston. Then process one to two. There is a compression of air and fuel mixture. Then from 2 to 3, the air is the compressed air is uh, ignited using spark plug. From doing so, pistons come from TDC to BDC again because of combusted fuel. It is it is also called isentropic expansion. Okay. The pistons move from BDC to from bottom dead center to top dead center. Opening this as the fuel come from inlet valve. Now it has go it has to go out. Therefore exhaust valve need to be open. So the fuel as fought from the process 4 to 1 it come go out from exhaust valve and the cyclic pitch. Then talking about the PV diagram PV diagram looks like from 0 to 1 it is a constant pressure. Then 1 to 2 the process in this isentropically it is isentropic compression then 2 to 3 the volume is constant but 3 to 4 isentropic expansion is there therefore volume is increasing but pressure is decreasing therefore decline then process 4 to 1 4 to 1 there is constant volume and decreasing pressure so downward so looking at the PV diagram there the heat comes inside from process 3 and 2 and goes out from process 4 and 1. To calculate the efficiency we need to focus on this heat exchange. Q. Q the formula of Q is N C V delta D because here volume is constant. Therefore Q1 is equal to Q in is equal to M C V T3 minus T2 means higher temperature minus lower temperature. This is our equation number 1. Then Q2 is equal to Q out is equal to M C V delta D T4 minus T1 as T4 is the higher temperature then eta what is formula in beta net net heat upon uh, input heat then eta is equal to Q1 minus Q2 upon Q1 this is our e equation number 3 substituting 1 and 2 in equation number 3 eta formula become eta is equal to M C V T3 minus T2 minus M C V T4 minus T1 hold upon M C V T3 minus T2. Doing some simplification, we got the formula eta is equal to 1 minus T4 minus T4 minus T1 hold upon T3 minus T2. In adiabatic process, the formula is T1 by T2 is equal to V2 by V1 to the power gamma minus 1. PV diagram P. 1 to 2 the process is increasing means volume is decreasing and pressure is increasing therefore adiabatic this process is adiabatic as both pressure and volume is dependent then T3 by T4 is equal to V4 by V3 to the power gamma minus 1 as you can see from the above equation both T1 by T2 is equal to T3 by T4 interchanging the values T3 by T2 is equal to T4 by T1 adding minus 1 at both sides t3 by t2 minus 1 is equal to t4 by t1 minus 1 then t3 minus t2 upon t t2 is equal to t4 minus t1 upon t1 interchanging both the sides 
t4 minus t1 upon t3 minus t2 is equal to t1 by t2. This is our equation number 5. Substituting equation number 5 in 4, eta becomes 1 minus t1 by t2. This is our equation number 6. Substituting a derivative reaction in equation number 6 means that t1 by t2 is equal to v2 by v1 to the power gamma minus 1. Eta becomes 1 minus V2 by V1 to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 upon V1 by V2 to the power gamma minus 1. We have simplified this further. As you know, V1 by V2 is equal to volume at the beginning of the compression that is V1 and volume at the end of the compression that is V2. That is nothing but the Cp by Cv, constant pressure by constant volume. Therefore, it becomes R, R, R means compression ratio. Therefore, the final up, the original equation becomes eta is equal to 1 minus 1 upon R to the power gamma minus 1. This is our efficiency equation of photocycle. So, as we look first into photocycle, then we have to look into Carnot cycle. So, a PV diagram for it. Here is the PV diagram. From 1 to 2, the process is adiabatic as pressure and pressure decreasing and volume increasing. Two to the, here is the sudden change only. 2 to 3 the pressure remains constant. In auto cycle the volume remains constant. Then process 3 to 4. Here also adiabatic process. This is adiabatic com expansion. The process 1 to 2 was adiabatic expansion. Uh, compression. Uh, process 4, 4 to 1. This is constant volume. Then to calculate the efficiency of Carnot cycle. Same as the auto cycle. Q1 is equal to Q in is equal to m cp t3 minus t2 cp because here is a constant pressure this is our equation number one then q2 is equal to q1 is equal to m cv t4 minus t1 in process 4 to 1 there is constant volume and in process 3 2 to 3 there is constant pressure that's why cp there and cv here then eta formula is same net heat transfer upon intake heat there eta is equal to q in minus q out upon q in this is our equation number three Substituting 1 and 2 in equation number 3, eta becomes m cp t3 minus t2 minus m cv t4 minus t1 upon whole upon m cp t3 minus t2. Here eta becomes from simplification 1 minus cv t4 minus t1 upon cp t3 minus t2. This is our equation number 4. Then as we look into adiabatic process previously, here also same t1 by t2 is equal to v2 by v1 to the power gamma minus 1. Doing the same process, we come to the end that T3 by T2 upon T4 minus T1 is equal to T2 by T1. This is our equation number 5. Substituting 5 equation number 4, eta becomes 1 minus Cv by Cp T1 by T2. This concludes that eta is equal to 1 minus Tc upon Th. Tc is cooling and Th is heating. So, in the conclusion, both the auto cycle and Carnot cycles are the fundamental concepts in thermodynamics that helps us to understand how energy conversion process in engine. The auto cycle emphasizes practical application in internal combustion engines, while the Carnot cycle sets an ideal standard for an e efficiency between thermal reservoirs. So, thank you for all your attention. We hope this presentation has clarified these important concepts in thermodynamics. Thank you.